So this is the 2015 Leave Insert Ordinary Level Paper 1 and we're looking at question 4. Part A says solve the equation minus x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0. Give each solution correct to one decimal place. So this is a quadratic equation and the easiest thing to do would be to use the quadratic formula which is in your tables book and the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what we need to do is identify a, b and c. So minus x squared is, can be written as minus 1x squared plus the 6x minus the 4 is equal to 0. So we can put these in different colors now. The a value in yellow, so that will be substituted in here and here. B value is the, a is the number in front of x squared. B is the number in front of x, or the coefficient it's called, the coefficient of x. That's in green, so that's going to go in there and there. And then finally, the C value is the constant at the end. That's the minus 4, so that's going to go in here for C. So when we're doing this question, all we do is we replace all of these letters with brackets. So we get minus a bracket plus or minus the square root of a bracket squared minus 4 multiplied by a bracket and another bracket. Make sure that's all under the square root sign and that's all over 2 multiplied by a bracket. So now we can just put our values in. So our b value is in green, that's the positive 6. So that's going to go in here and here in the two green spots. Our next one is a which is minus 1. That will go here and here in the two yellow spots. And finally, we've got minus four in the C position. So we're gonna do this, type this exactly as it looks on the calculator. Once with the plus sign, that'll be one of our answers because it says give each solution. We get two solutions to a quadratic. So we're gonna do it once with plus on the calculator, find our answer, and once with negative. So when you put all that into the calculator, the first answer, if you get is x is equal to 5.236 on and on. That's one answer. And if we round that, that's to one decimal place, as it says up here. That means we look to the second digit after the decimal. This three does not change the two, so it's x equals 5.2. That's one solution to one decimal place. And the other solution, when you use the other sign, is 0 0.763 and on it goes and we're going to round that to one decimal place which means we look at the six the second digit after the decimal but that knocks the eight the seven up to an eight so it's 0 0.8 to one decimal place and that's our second solution so there's the two answers to one decimal place Okay, part B says find the coordinates of the turning point of the function f of x is equal to minus x squared plus 6x minus 4. So it's the same function. And x is an element of the real set of numbers. So the coordinates of the turning point of a function. Well, the turning point of a, there's a few ways to do this, but the, the, the turning point of a function, we know that this function, because we've got a negative number in front of the x squared, we know this function is quadratic and it's a cap quadratic one that goes up like this. So the turning point of this function is going to be a maximum. Well, what do we know? We know that at this turning point, the slope of a tangent at the turning point is going to be equal to zero. So at this turning point, the slope of the tangent will be equal to zero. And how do we find the slope of the tangent? Well, the slope of the tangent is f dash x or dy dx. In other words, we differentiate, we find the derivative. So we could say that the f dash x at this point 
would be zero. So the first thing we're going to do then is find f dash x. So we'll apply our differentiation rule, f dash x, we bring the power to the front, so it becomes minus 2x for the first term, and the derivative of 6x is just positive 6. So that's the f dash x, or the, uh, the slope of the tangent to the curve at any point, but we want to know at the maximum point, we know that's equal to zero. So we're gonna let that be equal to zero, minus two x plus six is equal to zero. And we're gonna solve this. So we can bring the positive six over, here it becomes a negative. So you have minus two x is equal to minus six. And then we can divide both sides by the number in front of x, divide by minus two on this side and minus two on this side. Here, when we do that, the minus two is cancel, leaving x. That's why we divide it by minus two. And on the right, we have minus six divided by minus two, which is three. So the x coordinate, the x coordinate of this point is going to be three. This is the x axis. That point there is going to be three. Um, so how do we find the y coordinate? Because they did ask us for the coordinates of the turning point. Well, to find the y coordinate, we're just going to substitute this x value back into our function. So we're going to get f f of three, which is going to be equal to minus three squared plus six bracket three. Uh, sorry, minus uh, 3 squared plus 6 bracket 3 minus 4. So that's just substituting 3 into this function everywhere you see x. And that gives us a value of 5 on the calculator. So f of 3 is 5. So that's our y value. Our y value is five. So that means our coordinate then is the point three, five. So that's our turning point, the coordinates of our turning point, and that's the answer. Okay, finally, part C says, use your answers to parts A and B above to sketch the curve y is equal to f of x. Show your scale on both axes. Okay, so if we, if we put along this axis, well, what do we know about the curve? We know its maximum point, and we know, we know the maximum point here, that's 3, 5. So that's going to be there. When we're, and we also know where this curve crosses the x-axis. That's the solution to the answers to part A. The two roots of the quadratic equation are where the graph of the quadratic function crosses the x-axis. So 0 0.8 and 5.2 are these points here and here. So we can label this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And going up, we'll go up in ones as well. does say show your scale so it is very important to do that so the first thing we'll do is put in the maximum point which is 3 5 and then we will cross the x-axis at 0 0.8 which is about here and 5.2 which is about there so now you just need to draw a smooth a smoother curve as you can going through these points in the shape that you know it is. So you'll be able to draw a smoother curve than I can. Then you can show them that this goes down below there. And that's the end of part C.